So, hello everyone. I would like to introduce you to Kiwi. Kiwi is a keyless access system that you may be familiar with from some car systems out there where you just have a key in your pocket, an RFID chip, and you approach your car and from one to three meters away, it automatically opens. So we take that concept and apply it to house doors. Now what's so special about this? Uh, so basically, Kiwi combines both. It's highly secure and super convenient. So you don't have to search through your pockets anymore if you come home. You can have your bags, your shopping bags, or your bicycle. You approach your house door, and it automatically unlocks as you approach. Now, that's super convenient, but that's not all. We are solving a major problem of many companies that need to go through the house door of apartment buildings as well. So think about your mailman or the trash removal company. They all have to go through these doors every day because in most cities around the world, the trash bins and the post letterbox are located inside the building behind the locked door. That means these guys have to handle massive keychains every day at every door. These are real pictures. <laughs> That's not fake. So you can imagine that the post and trash companies have to handle hundreds of thousands of keys in every average city. With Kiwi, we have developed a system that will fundamentally change the way we open doors. Kiwi is a hands-free solution, as I said, and it's super convenient. The way it works, you have a little RFID chip in your pocket, and as you approach your door, it automatically unlocks. But that's not all. Obviously, we're not only a hardware company, we also have a mobile app, so you can open and control your door as well with your mobile phone. So my name is Christian, and together with my co-founders, Claudia and Peter, we've done a lot of research and had a lot of fun actually getting our hands dirty in the process. And uh, as a result, already in Berlin right now, some post and trashmen are already using Kiwi to do their jobs more efficiently. So how does it work? So basically, Kiwi consists of two components. The key, looks like this, and the we. So the we will be placed behind the bell panel of your front door. It's super easy to integrate and it's designed in a way so that it is com compatible with any bell system around the world. And the best part, we take care of it, so you don't have to worry at all about installation. So the key, the other part, you simply put in your pocket, and as you approach, the door automatically unlocks. Now, why would any property manager or building owner allow us to install our system? Well, they have huge benefits themselves. They don't have to handle their massive keys anymore. And they, so they're saving a lot of cost. On top, our system is much more secure than the current physical key system. So for example, for contractors, you can revoke access or you can give them timed access only in a certain uh, time period they can enter these doors. And of course, Kiwi increases the value of your real estate because the tenants love to use it and feel more comfortable and that gives them a perception of a higher value that they get when they live in, your, in, in the real estate of the property owners. And of course, that's not all. So if we, as a small company, approach a big uh, property manager, they're probably not going to talk to us. 
That's why we work with our partners. For example, the Alba Group, which is the largest private, or one of the largest private waste management companies worldwide. And we work with Berlin Recycling, also a trash management company, to approach the property managers and building owners. And we are extremely proud that most recently we signed a contract with the Deutsche Post ePost. And together we will approach and install Kiwi in every door of an apartment building in Germany. So we started with a couple of pilots in Berlin. And you may ask yourself, why Berlin? Because I'm from Berlin and I love Berlin, but that's not a good reason to do a pilot there. It's basically because Berlin has the highest concentration of apartment buildings in Germany. And we will soon grow our installed base across. So if we do that, if you assume we are really in every apartment building, how do we ensure the security? Right? That's probably your biggest concern, and it's also our biggest concern. And that's why we've sit, sat down two years ago with a couple of really experts in the field of cybersecurity, and we were wondering how can we make a system that is both convenient and secure. And uh, basically what we do, we only send out encrypted randomized numbers, and it is impossible as a result to identify or copy a key from Kiwi. You can grant and remove access from anywhere in the world, and you don't even have to take my word for it, because we are making our code public, it's all online, so that hackers around the world can test the system and see for themselves that it's really you standing in front of your door if you want to enter. So uh, you learned about our security approach, you learned about our great partners for our uh, rollout of the installation, but there's more. We already have some corporate entities that are using our system in their buildings, such as the prestigious startup hub, the factory in Berlin, along with the Deutsche Telekom, and the Allianz, the largest insurance company worldwide in Munich, is already using our system. But don't you think you yourself would appreciate having Kiwi in this situation I can tell you from my own experience of having a Kiwi installed in my house for a year and a half now, that, it, that once you have it, you don't want to miss it anymore, right? It's super convenient, and everyone who has tried it has immediately fallen, fallen in love. It's super convenient for you, your kids, and even my parents. So, lost your key, you can instantly Disable it using your mobile phone because Kiwi lets you control your door from anywhere in the world, even your couch. So for 4,000 years, people have been using physical keys. We believe there is a better way and we will prove it one door at a time. So I invite you to visit our website, kiwi.key, and register with your address, or approach me after the presentation, or tomorrow, so we can discuss how we can bring more comfort to your life as well. And if you're an investor, I invite you also to approach me to discuss how we can uh, move on together. Kiwi is unlocking the door to the future, and we invite you to walk through with us. Thank you very much. So we may have some more time for questions. Uh, yes, so the question was if we can handle several doors with one key, and the answer is yes. So the postman or the trash man, they only have one key in their pocket. Not all these keys that you've seen on the screen before. Only one key, and that can be enabled for the whole tour 
of these people. So, and if you have your private key, you can enter your private house at home, or you can enter, you can enable also using the same key at your friend's house, or let's say you're, making, you're having a party at home and you have like, make like pizza and you invite 20 people to your pizza party, you connect them on Facebook, send them an invite, and they can all come into your house as well. So, um, there's also the social factor. Does the V mm, require power so that you can use, I don't know, something like Bluetooth to open without a physical key? So our system is already enabled for Bluetooth LE. That means you don't need necessarily in future this key anymore. However, our business partners, like the trashman or the postman, they don't necessarily have a smartphone that has Bluetooth LE enabled. And then if you have some experience with it, it's not the best uh, performance yet. That's going to get better. Also, on Android, for those of you who maybe are developing themselves, uh, Android is very fragmented. So you have different development stacks for Bluetooth LE. It's very difficult. And you, you can spend a lot of money for every single OEM to develop a system. And you still may run into problems. On top, the security with Bluetooth LE cannot be uh, is not the same level as what we provide here. Because with Bluetooth LE, as with any other system out there, you can do a forwarding attack, a man in the middle attack. So I'm here with my key, which opens my house at home, and some of you may have some forwarding device and forwards that information to uh, some guy standing in front of my door and he can get in. That's the problem of every car system. So we are using the laws of physics to make sure that it's impossible to do that kind of forwarding attack. And that is not yet feasible with Bluetooth LE. And we're working on a solution for that. And as soon as that's available, our hardware already supports Bluetooth LE. Sorry, long <laughs> answer to a <laughs> small question. But a very good question. Any more questions? All right. So. Thank you very much.